Good evening. Tonight's daily devotional, this is the Bible app on my phone. It's going to come from 1 Peter 3, verse 18. For Christ hath also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. Have you been treated unfairly? Have you been treated unjustly because of your faith? If so, take heart, because the Bible reminds us that as Christians, we will be persecuted, we will go through persecution. It also reminds us that Christ also suffered, unjust, suffered unjustly. He did not simply suffer, he died for our sins. He did this so that we might come to know God. Yet in the death of his human flesh, he was still triumphant. When we suffer because of our faith, may we be reminded of Christ who suffered infinitely more than we ever will in order to draw people to God. He who believeth in me, though he were dead, yet should he live. When you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, and you believe that he is the Son of God who came down from heaven, born of a virgin, lived a sin-free life, took on our sin on the cross, suffered, a lot of pain, torment, ridicule, laughing, mocked, kicked, whipped. He was brutally beaten, made fun of. He did that for us. That's how much he loves us. That he who believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And that's who we put our faith and trust in. Not Donald Trump. Definitely not, not, not Joe, definitely not Joe Biden. And, uh, Whatever country you're in, whoever is head of that country, you don't put your faith and trust in them either. You put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, our Heavenly Father. Amen. Dear God, thank you for sending your Son, Jesus Christ, to come to live on earth amongst us. We understand your Son was sinless and blameless, yet he suffered because of us, because of our sins. This act of mercy and grace is more than we can comprehend. Help us to share the news of your son's death and resurrection with others. And when we are treated unfairly because of our faith in you, may we continue to press on because we know that you also suffered. In Jesus' name, amen. In these last days, that's going to happen more and more. They look at us like we're crazy. We're religious fanatics. That's fine. All we can do is plant the seed, you know, like in the days of Noah. Like in the days of Noah, they laughed at him. What was it, like 120 years? Let me see. How long did Noah build that ark? Um, let's see. I believe it was 120 years. Um, let's see. 70? I don't know. 120 years. I, I, I believe it was 120 years. Can you imagine? And it never rained. He's telling everybody a flood, a flood is coming. Just like today, like in the days of Noah, we're warning people any means we can. Checkers at the grocery store, family, friends, co workers, Facebook, Twitter, I mean, whatever, YouTube, whatever way we can reach. Thousands of people. A lot of people aren't listening. And it's sad. It's really sad. But all we can do is plant the seed. If you don't have your left behind letters together, I'd probably get them together because it's really soon, guys. And remember, God sees everybody's heart. I love you guys. I can't wait to meet you. I hope you have a great weekend. God bless, and I will talk to you soon.